Hi, in this video I'm going to set up the Samsung Galaxy S20 or the 20 plus or the Ultra. This is the S20 Ultra. Uh, I'm going to set it up without a SIM card. So here I have uh, powered on already and this is the first screen you see when you are uh, turning on your Samsung Galaxy S20. So I'm going to tap on the arrow button to start and I'm going to choose agree to old and tap on next. And then we can choose a Wi-Fi to connect to a Wi-Fi. So I'm going to put in a Wi-Fi password. And then tap on the connect button once you put in the password. And choose next. Now it's going to check for updates. If there is any, it will try to install the updates. So it's done updates, we just have to wait for it. Now on the next screen, ask me to whether I want to choose to copy data or not. I'm going to choose don't copy. And now it's doing some checking on info. I'm going to choose uh, skip without signing into the account. And I'm going to do that later uh, in the settings screen. I'm going to choose more, then tap on accept. In here, it asks me to protect the phone. I'm going to skip and tap on skip anyway. Now, go all the way down and tap on OK. And as you can see, uh, I don't have a SIM card in here. And it's not popping up asking me to insert a SIM card at all. I don't need to insert a SIM card. And I can still uh, set up the Samsung Galaxy S20. I'm going to choose next. And I want to skip with the sign in of Samsung account. And I'm going to skip and tap on finish so once you have um, gone to the home screen you can either insert a physical sim card if you've got one otherwise you can um, scan for a um, eSIM so when you are you trying to use an eSIM you have to go to your provider to provide a QR code and from there you can scan now you can go into settings and in uh, uh, settings there is a sim so we're just going to type in SIM card in here. In the search box, just simply tap on SIM and then we go to SIM card manager. And in SIM card manager, just tap on that and you can add a mobile plan for an eSIM. So just simply tap on that and from here you can add using QR code or using activation code. So there are two choices that you can choose. And that's how you can add an eSIM. Uh, if you need to, otherwise you will have to insert a physical SIM into the SIM tray at the top here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.